So uh, we're talking about Doctor Who, but I, I would like to emphasize, mm -hmm. I know that you're much more interested in talking about that particular program. Mm -hmm. But I, I think to, I said to Josh, um, I've talked a lot about this. Yes. Yeah. I, a lot of people are going to say, oh, we've already, if they're interested, they're going to say, but haven't we heard all this before? Mm -hmm. And I've been asked to go to conventions to talk about it, partly because I was the original director. Otherwise, as you will appreciate, not many directors, yeah. unless they're Steven Spielberg or Martin Scorsese, are known for their work. I know that's feature films and mine is television, but I still mm. maintain that this is an important part of our uh, culture and I'm a part of it. Um, uh, I've been to conventions where people have thanked me for having created the show, which they now admired. Mm. Uh, and I'm flattered by that sort of uh, observation. But um, it's, it's, it's only a part of my... Uh, heritage, it jump-started my career, and mm -hmm. for that I'm grateful. Um, without that, I don't think I would have seen my future as it is mm -hmm. now, as it happened to be. But I would like to emphasize again the unusual aspects of my participation, because yes. in retrospect, I, I actually uh, am not happy about some of the way I was treated. Mm -hmm. I've never discussed that before. Right. Uh, nowadays, we're talking about um, all sorts of uh, aspects of uh, people in society. Mm -hmm. And uh, television is very aware of casting as much as possible with diversity. Diversity is now a big yeah. word. Mm, of course. Uh, it's almost like you have, it's almost compulsory. Um, you have to understand that my situation was not the same at all. Mm. And diversity wasn't even a word. Um, and it's if encouraged it was, these days, whereas you kind of fought to get where you were back then. Yeah. Yeah. It, but then it wasn't. Mm. And it was like climbing a mountain. And in retrospect, I wonder at myself because... I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to, to, to work myself into the system. Mm -hmm. But when you're in such a minority, which I was, you've got to put extra effort. You've got to go up more than 100%. You've got yeah. to go 500%. Because any slip you make is regarded as a fall. It's mm -hmm. not a stumble. Coming onto the set being looked at by a lot of guys wondering who the heck is this kid and then on top of that the ethnicity is a part of it they're yeah. kind of waiting for not, you to fail it's not it's not an easy thing to talk about of course because in the end one is being a little brown englishman you know mm. one is not being oneself yeah because i'm trying to hold my own against latent prejudices. And believe me, there were such things. Mm. Quiet, unspoken, questioning, who mm -hmm. is this guy and is he capable? That was mm. behind me in my head. And this was, of and, course, the um, context of the 60s, wasn't it? So um, it, we, could, we can only imagine what the, uh, the climate was like um, in Britain in the 1960s, you know. Today, it's, it's a given. People yeah. don't even discuss it unless they're yobbos fighting and beating people up at a after a football match mm. you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's the worst element of society today but yeah. then it was a given uh, the atmosphere in england was fraught with prejudice we just mm. had a, uh, enoch powell talking about rivers of blood because of immigration mm. and I'll share with you, this was done as a joke. It wasn't done as an insult. A member of my crew who was responsible for my instructions, he was on the floor, I was in the control room. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hesitating and um, taking a long time to make certain decisions. Mm -hmm. And we had a jokey relationship, so I can pre preface that by telling you the story. But yes. because I was taking too much time and time is money and I needed to move on, 
and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I was dithering. Mm. And he said, Warris, for God's sake, get get your ass off this because otherwise we're going to send you back on the next boat. Oh, oh. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I mean, it, it's the goal. I'm yeah. Now, sorry. that was a joke. That was a that was a friendly joke. That was a friend mm. saying a joke. A yes. friend telling yeah. me. Different in, context, in, yes. In joking terms. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'd buy each other a drink afterwards, but can you understand what the psychology of that remark was? Mm. Of course. You, you it, couldn't you're do you're that still today. his Indian friend in your head. Yes, you, you're, exactly. You're yeah. His Indian friend, which is a different category to his friend. Yeah. yeah, but still, the psychology of it's there. It's like mm. the way women were treated. I mean, women that today are on the march. In yeah. those days, they had, a, they had a second, they were secondary. That's exactly so it. What I'm saying yeah. is I, I was uh, toiling away <laughs> <laughs> to make my presence felt in this atmosphere. Yeah. It, that doesn't exist anymore. Or if it does, it's not allowed to. Yeah. You mm. know? So I wanted to make that point, and I haven't made it before ever in my interviews. Mm. But I'm beginning to do that now because... Because this whole idea of diversity and Black Lives Matter and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then I think to myself, hey, hey, wait a minute. I was at the forefront of all this. Yeah. (laughs) And and, uh, and I've almost been forgotten on the basis of that. Uh, 